Welcome to Juniper Learning Bytes. My name is Zach Gibbs and I'm a content developer with the education services inside of Juniper. Today we will be discussing the Junospace Network Director Image Management Learning Byte. So let's jump right to the GUI. Okay, so here we have the Network Director Web User Interface. Of course, as you know, this is a part of Junospace. Network Director is a Junospace application. This is Network Director 1.5 that I'm currently running. And uh, what we have here is we have the uh, device inventory for the network here. And you, as you can see, we have uh, two devices in here, two EX3200 switches. They are both running 10.4 R16.3. Uh, they are part of the Junos EX family device type of switch and the connection state and the config state are in good conditions up and in sync respectively and that's important because a connection state of up means that network director can communicate with the switches and a config state of in sync means that the configuration on network director uh, for that switch is the same as what is actually on the switch itself and those things need to be in order for us to be able to uh, manage images with these devices and so to begin we need to move to the deploy mode and then to the image management workspace and then we can check out the manage Im image repository workspace as well and as you can see here we have a couple different images we have three of them total so I guess that's a few different images and uh, we have 11.4, 10.4 and 12.3 and we can, uh, we can double click on any of these images or we could select them and then hit the detail button brings up the same thing gives us a little more detail on it you know see it's for the EX3200 series which includes uh, these different platforms uh, whoever you know the user that uploaded it, which was super the size the date and things like that and so tons of information in there or maybe not tons but good amount of information and then if we wanted to add a new image we could browse to a new image. Here we can see that we currently have just those three images that are already uploaded so there's no need to upload them again. And then to actually deploy images to devices we can select the deploy images to devices uh, link here to get us to that workspace. And then we're presented with a few different things we're going to talk about here. We have the job name. We're going to call this 11.4. We're going to deploy the 11.4 image we saw there. So in the network director image deployment 11.4. You, know, you can leave that just the default. It doesn't matter. It's good to name it though so you know you can look through the jobs afterwards and see what's happening. Okay we have a few different options here. We have staging only which means that we're just going to push the image from network director to the managed devices and that is going to put the image in the var temp directory so slash var slash tmp on the managed devices themselves then we have the upgrade only and what this is if you previously did the staging only option and then later on you go through and do the upgrade only option because what the upgrade only option does as the note says it installs previously staged image on device so we, we previously staged an image to the device and now we're going to upgrade that device to that image. And then the third and final option is the one we are going to select for this learning byte is the staging and upgrade option. So basically we're going to push the image to the device to the managed devices and we're going to upgrade those devices. Now one thing to note here is that we're just working with two EX devices here and in your typical production network with network director it could be hundreds if not thousands of EX devices but two EX devices works really well for a lab scenario that will highlight the features of image management with network director okay so we selected staging and upgrade we're going to click next and here we have device family category and we can expand that and see the actual devices in there they're, they're both of the same family the EX 3200-24T and the cool thing that you can do here is you can select you can see here that you know, it's how easy it is to see but you can see the uh, there's a little pencil here 
icon. That means you can edit that field. So I can click on the field and then I can select an image. Now if I select an image and under the actual uh, device family category container here, select 11.4, it puts 11.4 and all the devices under the category. Kind of a shortcut. You know, alternatively you can go through and change it manually or if you wanted a different one, say you had 100 devices, each of them are getting 11.4, one of them needs 12.3, I can go to that one device and select 12.3. It's a pretty cool feature. We'll just uh, switch that back to 11.4 for this guy here. There we go. And so we're just we're planning on upgrading both switches to 11.4. Click next, and we have some options, some cool options here. We have an all device type, so any device type that is manageable, uh, EX series devices, Q Fabric or wireless LAN controller devices, WLC. That counts for all these. And we have two options, and we're going to select both of these options. The first one is delete any existing image before download. And what does that mean? That means that we want to make sure that there's enough space on the device to complete the upgrade, because there needs to be a certain amount of free space to actually complete the install after we put the package on there. So it's going to go in there, remove any other images that we have on there, put the new image on so we have you know just just a way to make sure we have enough space so we're going to select that that's a good option and then reboot device after a successful installation option what does that mean well for those of you that are familiar with how Junos works during an upgrade is you install the package and then you have to reboot the device to finish the upgrade because if we if we don't select this if this is unchecked it's just going to install the package and you'll manually have to go in and reboot the devices. You could do that through the CLI, or you could do that through Network Director as well. You know, that's that's definitely things that can be done either way. You can actually do that through just Juno Space as well. So you know, you don't have to manually go into every single device, but you have to do another step for sure. And so we're just going to reboot these devices now. And then we have some EX Series only options, the check compatibility with current configuration option. That's like using the validate command which is the default uh, when upgrading through the CLI on a Junos device with the assist, uh, request system software add and then validate. What that does is it just checks to make sure that the current configuration is going to work with the new image, the new version of, of Junos that you're putting on there. And this note's important. This is, this is not applicable for the non-stop upgrade option, which is down here. So you can't select them both. Okay, you have archive data, snapshots, uh, copy to alternate slides. And then the non-stop upgrade, which is applicable to virtual chassis and standalone chassis. Then you have some QFabric options, some WLC options. We're mainly focusing on EX series in this learning byte. And then we have some scheduling options. And this is kind of cool with how they did this. We can have the stage now, stage later, the upgrade now, or upgrade later. And what you could do now is you could say you want to stage now and then upgrade later. That works. Maybe right now in the middle of the day there's traffic on the device. You know, you're not in a maintenance window. So there's live traffic on there. So say you want to just push the, the package out there and don't do anything yet. Don't upgrade yet. And then maybe a maintenance window later that night, you could set it to upgrade at that time. For us right now, we're just going to stage and upgrade at the same time. Okay, then here's the review screen. Here in the review screen, we have uh, all the information and we can edit this as well. We can change the name, change the action. We could uh, switch that to just staging or whatever. And we can see the devices, what it's currently running, what we're going to upgrade to. We can change that too with the edit button. And then we have our options down at the bottom, which we can change. The two options we selected to uh, delete any existing images on there, any existing image packages, and then reboot the device after a successful installation. And so it looks like we're ready to go. And so we're going to click finish and we're going to start that job. So the job has been submitted. We'll click OK. And that brings us to the image deployment jobs uh, workspace. And so we're going to see what's happening here as the upgrade goes in process. And the thing to keep in mind is this is not a short, quick job to do because we got to do two major things. We've got to push the uh, image, the package, the upgrade package to the managed devices. And then we have to upgrade those devices. And so this is going to take a little while. So while this is going on, I'm going to pause the video and start it again when the upgrade is complete or when the job is complete. All right, that job is now completed 100%. You can see that it is successful. You can see in the summary that uh, there's two requests, two successful requests, and we can, uh, we 
You can either select this and hit the Show Details button, or we can just double-click this job, and it will bring up the detailed information for us. And we, as we already know, it is a success, 100%. Uh, see that the steps that it went through, uh, image deployed to the, the actual image, the 11.4 image, the complete the copying to the device, gather routing engine information, package installed on the device, device was rebooted, then it gathered software version information. You can see those same steps happened here. And so it was a complete success. We were able to finish this off. And we go back to the view inventory. We can now see that we have both devices running 11.4 R10.3. Uh, both up and in sync. Everything looks good. The, the, we were able to uh, push the image to the EX switches and upgrade them without issue. And so that brings us to the end of this learning byte. In summary, we uh, talked about image management with Network Director, and then we went through a step-by-step -step process of upgrading EX Series devices through Network Director. And so I, I hope this was beneficial for you. And as always, thanks for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses, learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths, Juniper Networks certification program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence, and the training community. From forums to social media, join the discussion.